did a st- there was a study, you know, looking at the average age of a fat cell. Mm, okay. The average age of a fat cell is a year and a half. Oh, wow. In our body. And they found fat cells that live 10 years. Okay. It's a long time to store these artificial estrogen chemicals. So if you're thinking, oh, I need to get them out of my body, mm-hmm. it can take a year. Right. You know, I mean, there's ways to speed it up, which I love, like the sauna, or mm. just exercising or getting out in the sun, really hot yeah, temperatures, right. move speeds up molecular motion. Mm. But, you know, it, it can take a while. Yeah. Actually, one last story. Yeah. I ate lunch with this scientist who studies epigenetics. Mm-hmm. I was telling you about him before, and he he's the guy that gave that talk in Europe where they made that chemical illegal and things. Uh, I ate lunch with him at the Mayo Clinic, and he told me that, well, for, for starters, he talked a lot about these same chemicals mm. and how problematic they are for future generations. But he takes the outlook that we're kind of screwed, yeah. which I don't take. I think there's ways to improve your genetics and your epigenetics with good vitamins, whole foods, avoiding these chemicals. That's the mm. big one. Mm-hmm. But he takes kind of a pessimistic view, like, oh, we're kind of screwed as a population. But when I ate lunch with him, he said when his daughter was pregnant, he bought a whole house filter oh, okay. for his daughter. And it's like, mm-hmm. well, there you go. There you go. You know, even this guy who's you can out still take giving measures. talks and saying that we're all just done for. What are other things that we could do? So charcoal filter, what does yeah. eating right and exercising do that helps our body process out the chemicals yeah. that maybe are already in us? Correct, yeah. Okay. And some people have genetic mutations. It might be worth checking. Mm-hmm. Just through 23andMe, I do consulting with 23andMe and – you can look at a gene called CYP1B1. It's a liver enzyme that breaks mm-hmm. down estrogen. And you can see maybe you're on the really good end and you really break it down fast. Maybe mm-hmm. you're on the bad end and you, estrogen stays in your body a lot longer. And so do these artificial estrogens. Mm-hmm. It's good to know the status of that thing, to know how extreme you might want to be. I mean, in the back of the book, what I did for my book is I did three different plans gold, silver, bronze. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you're a pro athlete, if you've got breast cancer, if you're infertile, you want to be really extreme about these. You go with the gold level plan. You'd be Mm -hmm. kind of compulsive about it. You know, you stop buying, you know, polyester couches, Mm. polyester carpet, you know, because there's good alternatives. Like nylon doesn't have phthalates. Mm. Cotton doesn't have phthalates. You know, there's alternatives. But that's pretty extreme. Like if you're a normal college student, you don't have much money. You want to get the really big ones, like charcoal, like filtering your water, not drinking out of plastic bottles. You know, like mm-hmm. really basics, not using perfumes, fragrances, and your soaps and your laundry detergents. Get those, and you know, and get the big ones. Do plastics yeah. program. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. So there's different levels of how extreme you want to be. You don't mm-hmm. have to be the most extreme. Yeah. To, to kind of improve your health. I mean, I get a lot of testimonials about fertility. Mm. That's probably the biggest one um, because people are spending so much money on it mm. when they become infertile. And just avoid artificial estrogen chemicals is not yeah. that hard, and it completely transforms. It might take a couple of years, mm-hmm. one or two years, but it's, it's a start. It. And you should yeah. do it anyways, right? You should do it anyways, yeah. So.